Hey guys, this is Candace from rainreef.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do a water change on your aquarium. Uh, water changes are really necessary to remove nitrates and phosphates. They keep your fish and coral happy and they make your aquarium look pretty. This is my seven gallon Aquatop cube. Um, it's a nano reef, but it has a secret hidden below. We actually drilled this tank out, put an overflow box on it, and so this tank is set up with a sump. Um, I believe it's a 25-ish gallon sump. So technically it's a little over 30 gallon tank. To do a water change, first you will need one of these. <laughs> this is a python hose. They come in a bunch of different sizes. Um, so this is the gravel vac part, and then this is the hose that you will drain into a bucket. Or, if you have a larger tank and a larger gravel vac, you um, might want to use a brute uh, trash can. Like the big brutes on the wheels because it's a lot easier to move around. So you don't have to lift heavy water. Um, and then the next thing you're going to need is obviously new salt water. <laughs> so I already have some pre-mixed salt water here, mixed to 1.025. Um, and you'll want to test that water with a refractometer. So we actually sell the refractometer, um, our own marine and reef uh, product. So, and you'll want to test the water before and after the water change. Step one, turn off the tank. <laughs> turn off your main power supply. Step two, you'll want to get your gravel vac ready. And create a siphon. Just like, just like that. I'll kind of pinch it like that. And then you can go around and back in your sand. So normally you want to change about 10 to 20%. Uh, so another uh, good thing about water changes, um, this tank doesn't really have any algae, but if your, alg or if your aquarium has hair algae or um, bubble algae, water changes is a good way to manually remove that algae from your aquarium. Okay, so now we have to put the water back in the tank. Um, because this tank is so small, I'm just going to use a five gallon jug, jug to pour it back in. Um, if my tank were larger, I would probably want to use a brute trash can with the clean uh, salt water and then pump it back in the tank. So let's fill it back up. And be careful not to knock any corals over. I like to use my hand to break the surface. Also the temperature of the water I'm putting in matches the same temperature of the tank. You don't want to shock the temperature. Some of the worst disasters that I've ever heard about or experienced, not really me, but um, somebody did a water change and they bought water from a local aquarium shop and um, I guess they got fresh water instead of salt water and so they actually did not test their water before putting it in their tank and they shocked and killed a mantis shrimp by adding fresh water to a salt water tank because they lowered the salinity so quickly um, so that's really important that you have to test your water before you put it in the tank. Um, another very important thing is the temperature of the water that you put in. If the water is too cold or too hot, you can shock the aquarium and damage corals and sometimes even harm fish. So it's really important to test the temperature as well before you put it in. 